Hello everyone and welcome back to Photon Photography. I'm Jesse Laval and today we have something truly special in store for you. We're diving into the mesmerizing world of macro photography and exploring the fascinating world of bees. I had the incredible opportunity to capture these stunning shots using two fantastic lenses from Canon. The EF 100mm f 2.8L and the RF 100mm f 2.8L. So grab your favorite beverage, get comfortable, and let's embark on this magical journey. But before we jump into the world of bees, let's take a closer look at the tools of the trade. The Canon EF 100mm f 2.8L and the Canon RF 100mm f 2.8L are both fantastic macro lenses. The EF 100mm is a beloved classic, perfect for those who use Canon's EF mount. On the other hand, the RF 100mm, designed for the EOS R system, offers incredible sharpness and image stabilization. Both are incredible choices for macro photography. The EF 100mm has been a favorite for many photographers, including myself, for its exceptional image quality and versatile focal length. With its L-series designation, you can expect top-notch build quality and excellent optical performance. Meanwhile, the RF 100mm takes things to the next level with its optical excellence, 1.4 times magnification, and image stabilization. This makes it a great choice, especially for those using Canon's mirrorless cameras. All right. Now that we've explored our lenses, let's get into the nitty gritty of the bee macro photography. But before we do that, remember that photographing bees can be challenging. Here are some essential tips to prepare for your bee macro shoot. First, prioritize safety. Bees can sting, so make sure to wear protective clothing to minimize the risk. In reality, I've only been stung once while photographing them, and I was barefoot and I stepped on a honeybee in my yard. In my experience, bees are not aggressive at all, but still be careful. Next, use a tripod to keep your shots steady. Macro photography requires precision, and even the slightest shake can affect your image quality. This is a common tip within macro photography, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I hate using tripods for photographing bees. They move too quickly, and fumbling with the tripod can be a hassle. With the new stabilization system of today's lenses, paired with the modern autofocus, I can get very sharp images handheld now. Choose the right time of day. Bees are most active on warm, sunny days, making it easier to capture them in action. On the flip side of this argument, going out early in the morning while it's cooler out will give you a chance at photographing them while they're waking up and moving slower. Use a flash. I use the MF12 flash from Godox. This is a dual flash that mounts on the front of the lens that's triggered by a wireless Godox trigger mounted onto the hot shoe of your camera. I've used a lot of different flash setups over the years, and I by far prefer this system. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but for me, it works great and I find it really easy to maneuver around with. Adding flash to your macro shots can be beneficial for a few different reasons. It allows you to keep your ISO levels down for optimal image quality while we stop down our aperture for maximum depth of field. I usually take most of my B images between f11 and f16. Remember, stopping down your aperture increases your depth of field, getting more of your subject in sharp focus, while the flash can help to freeze motion. This flash is capable of high-speed sync speeds, but I mostly stick to the native sync rates on my R6 Mark II. Be patient. Macro photography requires a lot of waiting for the perfect moment. Bees move quickly, so take your time. Now let's talk about the exciting part, capturing these incredible creatures up close and personal. I've been using both lenses for this bee photography project, and I have to say the results are mind-blowing. With the EF 100mm and RF 100mm lenses, you can get incredibly close to your subjects, revealing details that are often hidden from the naked eye. When it comes to composition and technique, consider using a wide aperture to create that beautiful background blur or bokeh. Focus on the bee's eyes and capture the intricate textures of their bodies. Experiment with different angles and lighting to create unique and visually stunning shots. I've had an incredible time getting to know these bees and capturing their world through my lens. 
It's a reminder of how diverse and beautiful our natural world is. Photography is not just about taking pictures, it's about connecting with nature and telling its story. These shots wouldn't have been possible without the amazing Canon lenses I've had the privilege of using. Thank you for joining me on this macro photography adventure with the Canon EF 100mm f 2.8L and the RF 100mm f 2.8L lenses. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Photon Photography for more exciting photography content.